Moving along to the reading section of the settings menu, we've got a couple of simple options here. So the first one you'll see here, it says blog pages show at most blank posts. And the default is 10, and that is exactly what it sounds like. The blog pages on your website, the archive pages, are gonna show 10 posts or whatever number you set here. Uh, and that's 10 posts per page. So you'll have to click to the next page after the first 10 posts. 10 is a good number, uh, you know, that's the default. So that's usually how I leave it. Um, the one time I would adjust this is if the layout of my website doesn't really work with 10 posts. So for example, if we've got a grid of posts that's you know, three by three, that's nine posts. If we have it set to 10, we're gonna have a row on the bottom that only has one post in it. And it's gonna look a little weird. So I might set that to nine or maybe 12, just to make it cohesive with the design of the page. But again, generally, I just leave this as is. Syndication feeds show the most recent blank items. That's for your RSS feed, same thing here, 10 is probably fine, but if you wanna show more or fewer items in your feed, you can adjust that here. Also for the RSS feed, you can choose to show the full text of your articles or a short excerpt if you want people to have to click back to your site to view your content. Finally, we have search engine visibility. This is important. There's an option here to discourage search engines from indexing this site. If you wanna show up in search engines like Google, make sure this box is not checked. And that's it for your reading settings.